Wow. Turn Timber is also a land. On top of being a spell. And this is actually decent in this deck. Smoothing your opening hands. Alright, opponent. Just keep your hands so that I can play my cards and destroy you. Or the other way around. Go both ways. I choose to play a Tolaria West so that if they have a Ghost Quarter they can only kill a single uh, mana producing land and not multiples. Not multiple mana producing lands and I, I guess I can't cast a Titan next turn anyways, no matter what happens through Down and Up better. So I have a Pact Flicker West, sure. No! Damn, go it. I was actually scared that they will hit my Turn Timber Symbiosis with the Flicker Wisp because I just straight up land distraction. It would return as a spell and as spells cannot exist on the battlefield as permanents. It would just chill and exile forever. But our point is like, eh, you know, I don't actually want to destroy your things. I play it up, I need more lands. Did they ever fix Arbiter? Was it ever non-fixed? I don't remember it being non-fixed. I remember the time the Arbiter was impossible to pay for, it actually became a good deck. I don't think so. I don't know about good. Alright, watch it, Twitch chat. Will they pay or will they not pay? Okay, they will pay. I think they fixed Arbiter to be better, that's a good way to put it, I guess. Reveal Sword of Fire and Ice. XD. Not blocking them. I search for nothing. I missed the old Titan decks, turn 2, Hive Mind and Pack GG. Packed Hive Mind was some good stuff. I especially remember playing the deck in paper, and then you played Hive Mind, and you played Summoner's Pact, and in response to the Hive Mind's trigger, you Pact of Negation your own Summoner's Pact, and just let the stack for your opponent to look at. And they very frequently didn't have an idea because that was not a simple or easy interaction, so if somebody haven't en didn't encounter it before, they're just staring at it and we're asking, well, so I want to counter my own pact so I don't have to pay for the green one. And he was saying, no, 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 friend, you can't do that. And they were asking, well, how? How is it I cannot do that? And, uh, you know, hilarity ensued. See the path. What can you do against that? Nothing. That's the thing. You can't stop that. Interaction really. When you had Hive Mind, you played Pact of Summoner's Pact. The ability triggered, but you responded to that ability, which says whenever a player casts an instant or sorcery, each other player copies that instant or sorcery. So you responded to that, and then the actually sometimes condescent for zero worked. So the way that stack played out was that you played your summon spike, then the trigger was on the on top of that, then you played your own summon pact of negation, then there was a trigger from pact of negation. First thing that result was the trigger from pact of negation. Your opponent got to choose whether they're gonna counter your pact of negation or your summon pact, and both of those choices meant that they had to pay five in their upkeep, and both of those choices meant that you didn't need to pay five in your upkeep. So they counter under, under either your green pact and you don't have to pay anything or they counter your uh, blue pact uh, on your green pact resolves and then their green pact resolves regardless. Don't need bog. Is there a time window for open to path your creature after you paid your 2 mana Arbiter Tax? Arbiter Tax is a special action, it doesn't go through the stack. Oh, X between the legs. I don't know if I want tracker against them, probably not. I probably should trim someone that I spiked rather than next second I do so. If they play an Arbiter, I want to have a land. I think the land needs to be a breeding pool because I have Tolera West in hand, so paying free life sometimes, but. Oh, 
Oh no, it's Arkan of Emeria. A minor problem, if ever. Actually, it's decent against some other spacked. I could end up 10 Summoners Pact. Oh, I wonder if I get a Dryad then or, or the Titan. Because I could just get a Dryad. Let's see what they play. And then we're gonna uh, decide. Wow, impressive play. Exactly what Twitch was talking about. Obviously, I knew that I have to pay the mana for the Lord in Arbiter, but didn't do that. I'll keep this. I don't know if I want this on free. <laughs> I don't, I want Shape Scoop because I can still win easily, but not paying for Arbiter and then still paying for the Pact is. I'd insta scoop if this was a game of paper magic. No, you would just say, oh yeah, I'm actually paying for the pact. And it would be all fine and dandy. And like you quickly tap two lands. At least that's what I would do. We're still winning by a mile. I guess pretty funny that I'm still winning and my opponent is not really close to defeating me as of exactly yet. I guess you can search with the Titan and we find a Titan. Sure. <laughs> I mean, a 3 6 is not nothing, so. We didn't miss. <laughs> we didn't miss. I didn't look at what else we put on the bottom, but. 3-6 reach is pretty potent at stopping my opponent's strategy. His opponent's gonna puff it. Or maybe they just draw with the horizon canopy? Okay, they just draw with the horizon canopy. Yeah, it can even attack. See? Actually puffed it. Actually, cost one more. All right, I'm gonna play the greater and pass. Why no bounce land there? You mean search for the bounce land with Tolaria West? I think searching for a pact is stronger. Is a stronger move. If I had a bounce land, I would have just played it. Could just win with Zombos. I don't think I can win with one zombie per turn. My opponent has flyers in their deck and etc. Watch him miss attacks again. I'll never again miss a low and arbiter attacks. I promise. I assure you, never again there's gonna be a situation on this stream where I don't pay for an Arbiter if I have mana available, of course, because some maybe my opponent's gonna go quarter me when I have tapped out. That's easier. Oh, I have the amulet. Somehow I missed that. That I can haste. I mean, I can haste through Field of Ruin anyways. I just want to get back the Radiant Fountain not to die to attacks. And if I don't die to attacks, I'm gonna be fine against everything that my opponent could master, which is not much. Why did Apoen not field of rain our field? Because they're gonna be playing a Restoration Angel end of turn. Or they're gonna be hitting my Valakut. Okay. I have to say that this Valakut does look threatening, so... I 
Everyone the legs is just afraid of Valakut, too scary. I am not surprised. A hand like this on the draw is gonna be pretty pepija, so I'm gonna mulligan it. This looks better, except that it's also kind of pepija. And you can play it this turn one. Let's put back Bog, and then my opponent's gonna be playing Dredge. Dr. Queller only plays Blue Eyed Spirits, that actually makes perfect sense. Can I say, are you stoked? The Polish MMA fighter Jan Blachowicz. There is only one N in the name. I'm not stoked at all. Humans. Hmm. Humans. Moorland Hound. Human Spirits. What? My opponent can't. Can't quell that now. Playing as specimens. I guess I'll explode the hierarchs. And then now can I kill like psycho mode? I just know it from the memes. And I only like the like first. You know it's wow, actually countered. Five or ten or dream crash, why? I can just win still. Easy Titan. Of this nerd company, Lord, Lord, on top, Lord, Lord, attack. Did you die? Okay, actual Lord, end of turn, and another one. Shit, did I spoke too soon? Giant doesn't have reach. No, Tolaria for EE, cast EE for two and GG. Explosives is already in my graveyard. I drew it and cast it. Another one, that's 11. You don't be the quell speller. Yeah, I think we just died with the queller, right? So we have to TOS for the Dryad. Can be queller, can be path. What a nerd having a spell queller. I've never seen anybody get as fortunate as that person. Now we don't have a great sideboard for that. So I guess I just want sideboard then. I have the explosives and that's it. Pact of neck, question mark, question mark. I don't think I like Pact of neck. I know that you mean negation when you say neg, but what I meant is that I don't think I like the card in the matchup. Because, you know, it's an expensive counter spell and they're playing their tribal deck, so they have a lot of cards that have somewhat similar value. So a singular counter spell that costs 5 mana does not seem like a particularly enticing option. Yes. What a hand, Twitch chat. His hand is so far away removed from achieving 6 mana that I will mulligan it. And this is better. Not much better, but better. Peace within question mark. An efficient removal spell that doesn't actually remove the pressure. Nah. Efficient linear game plan, especially when on the play. Mm hmm. I'm all for it. Not sure what to put back. I think EE. -E -E. I think I want to Cyclove Explore more so. But it's gonna take a while before my opponent actually decides to keep their hand or mulligan their hand. Alright, keep a Rioni, put back Explosive Sony. Play Tap Land, not play an Amulet, not play Dread on turn 2, be sad. Imagine keeping it 2020. I don't know, we still didn't think of anything 
more enticing than keeping. What do you mean keeping seven? Or are you just memeing and you have no idea what you wanted to say? Probably just that. Most of them wonder is secured. XD, one lender. Should we have any mystical dispute in our sideboard or no? What is our sideboard? It's my private sideboard that I am a sole owner of, so... If you mean in this deck, then maybe you could play them, but... I added good to our responses because they counter uh, Aether Gas. For green mana too. But... I haven't played against anybody who was equipped with Aether Gas so far. I guess Spirits can play Aether Gas. Alright, we won. Rice canister. I'll bounce the land. I didn't count the mana, but I'm gonna play two titans and kill them. The mere threat. The mere tapping of six creature spells or activate abilities mana was enough to make my point scoop. Next time, if I'm in a similar situation, but I don't have a Titan, I'm just gonna bluff it. I'm just gonna tap my mana and wait for my opponent to scoop. Hopefully it will work. I'll keep the scent, because we go Amulet into Dryad. Then we do something else. Alright, I spy with my little eye a quail speller. Just kidding! It was a rattle change this entire time, you nerd! Damn, got me good. I need to play the Greenland. So that next turn we can play the Titan. After they collectively company me. No, just a selfless spirit, okay. And a rattle change number two? What? Rattle change with double flash. They don't get flash. You may cast them as though they had flash. But they don't actually get flash, curiously. So, my opponent is playing, playing creatures in my end step without any extra abilities that allow those creatures to be played in the end step. I mean, well, that's not true, but... Puff me, daddy. Lol, no puff. What do we search for then? Fountain, copy fountain? I think so. I mean, making zombies would put them in the lethal range, but for life is seems relevant too. Can copy fountain? I have one in play already, so I can. My given my hand. The second fountain's in the sideboard too. Bring in against. Uh, Grindy matchups. And by grindy, I mean the matchups that are grinding your life total down to zero. Spell Queller. An impressive feat to deploy such a powerful creature.
How many pets do you have IRL? Two cats. They have a queller and a path. I think we sh still should be somewhat fine. It is very likely that they have a queller, but they didn't stop the Titan last turn, so... Pact for Dryad to attack with Titan to get cover it doesn't do... doesn't help because... Spell queller uh, exiles to spell anyone else. Anyways, I'm gonna Summoner Pact, I'm gonna use Garen Brick, get extra mana, and I'm gonna play Primeval Titan number 2. Seems like they are quelling anyways, already, on the Pact, because they know they are tied to the extra Titan too. Little did they know... The BM so cruel. There's no BM. My opponent's cards in hand, I'm trying to play around them. BM. I should have gotten two Grove Chambers, because I already have the T-West. Has the Symbias has been worth it? With so few creatures you want to actually hit main, it's been pretty clearly good for me. I've played it two times, three times I think. I got Titans twice off of it. I've gotten a Grazer that was a 3-6 and actually my opponent path to excel it, which is pretty XD but you know it's pretty good for a forest. And playing 34 lands is good. Is this lethal? Yeah. Your chat row is such an odd one, but I oddly respect it. You should just normally respect it, because it is a rule that makes a lot of sense. I actually have a good reason for having the rule in place, but I won't tell you exactly right now, because I'm not in the mood. That means that I win the game. Alright, they really had Path plus Queller, yes, and I did play around it, I mean, I just had enough mana to do everything, so, so I did. That means that they had to draw the Path last turn, is it really good for sure? This time, yes, this time the deck really is good enough, the new improvements and the excellent metagame placing in which the amulet uh, Amulet, excuse me, deck finds itself right now. There has never been a better time to play Amulet in Magic Kit Gathering Online Leagues ever. Thanks to Turn Timber Symbiosis, not only you are physically impossible to mana screw, you also cannot mana flood. Between eliminating those two very specific fail states in which the deck was not working at its full capacity, now it's just fully powered on the entire spectrum of games that uh, you can play. If your opponent plays Ethergas, just go to our response set. If your opponent plays discard spells, just stop the Cape Primeval Titan. Or the new card Turn Timber Symbiosis. Or the old card Simi Grove Chamber returning Turn Timber Symbiosis back to your hand and letting you cast it to fetch a Titan from the top 7 cards of your library. So you can do all of that.